Hello friends, I am Dr. Rajesh Roy. I am a senior assistant professor here at Parul Institute of Medical Sciences and Research in Baroda. Today we are here to discuss something about a very common disease in our country uh, known as systemic lupus erythematosus or in other words it is in short form called as SLE. Now SLE we all know that it is an autoimmune disorder that leads to the formation of autoantibodies that leads to inflammation and damage to our own body tissues. It is uh, very common and 90% of uh, these, this disease is seen in young childbearing age females. This is the strata of the society that is the most prone uh, strata to systemic lupus erythematosus. Talking in short regarding the pathogenesis, we know that this disease is associated with deficiency of complement factors especially complement factor C1Q, C2 and in certain cases C4. Some of the inciting factors that can increase the chances of developing SLE are exposure to or prolonged exposure to UV light, femaleness it is a big risk factor, smoking, chronic exposure to silica dust and Epstein-Barr virus but that is under uh, research. So all these things together they lead to inflammation, autoimmunity and damage to our body cells. When we talk about clinical features, let us also see along with that how SLE is diagnosed based on clinical features and investigations. So for that we have the new criteria, some of the points have been added in the older, older ones. So these criteria consist of 11 points. If we have 4 points positive in these 11 criteria, you probably has a patient of SLE. So these criteria are malar rash patients of sle would present to you with malar rash especially on the cheek this is also called as butterfly rash the patient should have arthritis or i should say synovitis involving more than or equal to two joints the patient should have neurological manifestations like psychosis seizure etc the patient should have immunological factors positive in them to diagnose sle we diagnose this depending on presence of anti-nuclear antibody that is the ANA, anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-SM antibody, anti-Rho antibody. These are the antibodies that are present in patients of SLE. The next is serositis. Serositis involves either development of pleurisy or pericarditis. Patients should have hemolytic anemia, leukopenia or thrombocytopenia. These are the hematological manifestations of SLE. Patients should have alopecia which should be of non-scarring type. There should be presence of discoid rash. Discoid rash are very characteristic of characteristic of SLE. There should be renal involvement either proven by biopsy or there should be a protein to creatinine ratio which is more than or equal to 0.5 or there should be presence of RBC cast in the urine. The patient should have oral rash, nasal rash, etc. But mind it, the rash which is very characteristic of SLE are the palatal rash which our patient had which I am going to show later and the last criteria is photosensitivity. <coughs> so if you have these 11 criteria and the patient presents to you with either 4 of them you say that the patient probably has systemic lupus erythematosus. So talking about the treatment of this disease as I said that this is an immunological disorder where the patient develops autoantibodies within it, his or her own body that goes and produce inflammation and destruction. We need to use some drugs that would bring this immunity down. So we use the drugs that will cause <coughs> immunoreduction. The commonly used drugs are steroids. Either we can use uh, prednisolone or methylprednisolone depending upon the body weight. We can use hydroxychloroquine. We can use methotrexate on a uh, weekly basis. We can use cyclosporine, mycophenolate mofetil, rituximab, etc. These are the azathioprine is also one of the drug. Uh, these are the drugs that are commonly used. So let us go and now see our patient what clinical features she has. She is a classical case of systemic lupus erythematosus who presented to us around 15 days ago. Although some of the features have in improved but then too she has some of the very cl classical findings of SLE. So let us see that. Yes. So we have this patient who presented to us with a very characteristic malar rash on her cheek which is called as the butterfly rash. She clearly has this oral ulcers in the form of stomatitis and oral ulcers inside her mouth with parental ulcers. They have improved but still there is a lot of ulcers. 
muscles remaining inside her mouth. If you can see, she has alopecia on her head. When she presented, she had ulcers on both her palms. There are presence of discoid rash, some of the hands and also on the trunk which I will show accordingly. And she has very prominent soul ulcers as well. So this was our patient, her hematological profile was showing uh, uh, reduced hemoglobin with reduced total uh, count with reduced platelet count. Her urine showed proteinuria of 1 plus with presence of RBC cast and she also had a, a, a protein to create ratio of more than 0.5 as I have stated earlier. When we sent her ANA profile, it was positive for anti-nuclear antibody, anti-double standard antibody, anti-SM antibody and also there was presence of anti-Rho antibody. So this is our classical patient of SLE which I hope would help every uh, student, every practitioner in their day to day life so that the next time a patient of SLE steps into your OPD, you can very easily detect them according to their clinical profile. I would also like to show you the pre-treatment and the post-treatment photo of this patient that would lead uh, that would make the things very clear for all of you in the subsequent slides so I thank everyone for paying attention to this short lecture and I hope this lecture will prove beneficial to millions of our medical students thank you so much everyone